This is the Dark Illumination Report podcast for Wednesday, August 26, 2020. And on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about whether I believe Satan was created or whether he's always existed. This is the Dark Illumination Report podcast, the official podcast of Shadow Path Diabolism, your daily dose of Diabolonian philosophy to inspire you on your journey down the crooked shadow path. Here's your host, R.J. Womack, Brother Nero. Hey, everybody. Thanks for being here. I'm glad you're here. As always, I'm your host, R.J. Womack, a.k.a. Brother Nero, and this is the Dark Illumination Report podcast, the podcast where we promote the religious worship of Satan and demons as a serious faith and way of life, and we try to help our fellow diabolists try to improve their life through the application of Diabolonian philosophy. And on today's episode, I'm going to be answering a question from a listener who asked me, do you believe Satan was created or do you believe he's always existed? The answer is, I don't care. Um, I'm actually, the, in all seriousness, I'm the wrong person to ask this question because I don't care whether he's always existed. I don't care whether he was created. As far as I'm concerned, for all intents and purposes, Satan has existed long before mankind has existed. And so, therefore, it doesn't matter whether he had a starting point or whether he's always been, because honestly, regardless of whether he's had a starting point or always been, He was here long before we were, so it doesn't really matter to us. But either way, he's my God, and it doesn't really matter to me what his cosmology is. If you want to get into a long debate about whether Satan is Lucifer, or Satan is um, Carnunus, or Satan is Pan, or Satan is a fallen angel, or he's a pagan god, you'll have to go do that somewhere else, because you won't get an argument from me, because I don't care. He's my God regardless of who he is, where he came from, and my loyalty is to him and to his kingdom. And that's really the short answer to the question. Now, it may sound like I'm being sarcastic or trying to be dismissive of your question, but I'm really not. I'm just, um, I've already made peace with those questions in my own mind, so they're not really relevant to me, and I really don't have a lot to say about them. I mean, for me, I see a lot of people struggling with issues like this. I see a lot of people struggling Was it Lucifer? Is it Satan? Was he created or is he the creator? To me, you have to make peace with those questions for yourself in order to move forward in your own path, you know, on on your own journey through the shadow path, right? And until you make peace with those questions that you have, until you find the answers that are satisfactory to you, you're not going to be able to progress further on your spiritual journey and on your spiritual development. And until you answer those questions, you're probably going to flip-flop back and forth and and maybe even go back and forth from Christianity to diabolism or Christianity to other forms of paganism. That's typically what people do. The reason that I don't flip-flop and the reason that I don't have issues like that is because I made peace with these questions and was satisfied with the answers I have for myself years ago when I was young. I mean, I came to these decisions and came to satisfactory answers for me when I was like 14 years old. So these questions don't plague me the way they do other people. But anyway, I hope that helps. I mean, I know it's not much of an answer, but it's my honest answer. And I guess that's the best I can do. Anyway, take care, everybody. Have a good one. If you would like to learn more about the shadow path diabolism tradition of occultism, go to rjwomack.com. That's rjwomack.com. If you enjoy this podcast and support our message, tell a friend, leave us a review, and follow us on social media.